and welcome to the 14th episode of Talk Wildlife. Today we're going to be talking about alternative animal names. We wanted to do a nice fun podcast for you today because our last two were about starling culling and mammal declines, which aren't the cheeriest of topics, and we don't want this podcast to be all doom and gloom, so we thought we'd do a bit of a light-hearted one today, as we'd like to do a lot more light-hearted ones in the future as well. What we're going to do today is we're each going to say an animal's nickname and the other person has to guess what animal we're talking about. And you can join in too. When you hear us say the name, see if you can think what animal this is a nickname for. Now, some animals have more than one and we'll be mentioning a few for some of them. Some of them are ancient names and some of them are just strange ones which are colloquial and just nicknames for them today. Right, let's talk wildlife. So the inspiration for this one was actually a poster on the wall where I work. It's from a newspaper and it has loads of pictures of birds and it just lists different nicknames for them and some of them are really strange. I said in the intro about modern nicknames, but we're not really going to be doing them so much today. It's going to be ones that have been around for a bit longer, whether that be a few years or whether that be hundreds of years, or animals whose names originated from their old names. I'm just going to start off with one that we both know, because we may as well get this out of the way first of all. Um, But you at home perhaps do not know. This animal's actually got a lot of nicknames, but I'll start with our favourite one, which is... Nope. I know this one. For those listening, what bird is also referred to as a nope? N-O-P-E, nope. Yeah, nope. Other names for it, which hopefully won't give it away, are hoop, hoof... Olf, Mwop, M-W-O-P-E, Mwop, Mwop, <laughs> Mwop, Pope, and the other one's mm, Monk. The other one's probably give away a bit more what it is. Oh, Lumbudder. Okay, I'm going to guess it's a bullfinch. What a great guess. It's almost as if you knew. I did. Other names for the bullfinch have been Red Hoop, Blood Olp, Black Cap, not the actual Black Cap, but Black Cap. Billy Black Cap, Black Knob, Bud Bird or Bud Finch, Plum Bird, and as I said, Lumbudder. So here's my first one. And I think a lot of people will get this. It's one of my favourite birds. And funny enough, it's also my nickname. Oh, I'm going to get this now because I know what your nickname is. <laughs> so I'll give you the first one. Mm-hmm. It's Ringtail. Hen Harrier? It is the Hen Harrier. But they're also known as a ghost of the moor. Oh. And that's because of the male's uh, pale colouring as he flies on the moor. You can imagine him on a misty morning going across the sky. He would look like a ghost. Or the most famous one for him, Harry, is, is Sky Dancer. And Sky Dancer. And why are they called Sky Dancers for anyone who doesn't know? It's the aerial display they do when passing the food from the male to female. So, what's your next one, Flay? Well, I'm not going to make this one a quiz because the only one I could find was ringnecked dove and that's for the collar dove and it's not really so much a nickname but it was the only one I could find for collar doves oh you're just giving an answer away ringnecked dove collar dove I think that's too obvious but if you're listening and you know a nickname for any of the animals we mentioned today which we haven't included then please let us know because I'm going to include a couple which I couldn't find any nicknames for so I'll just do another one now if that's okay with you since um that one wasn't really a nickname a shuffle wing wagtail no, that's, that's I like that idea. That'd be shuffle tail, surely. Oh, no. That's all I could think. No, it's also referred to as a foolish sparrow. A foolish sparrow. Or birds that are similar to it are referred to as little brown jobs or LBJs. Dunnock? Yeah, Dunnock. That's Ooh. so sad it's called a foolish sparrow. Shuffle wing's really cute. It though. is cute. When I first saw the word shuffle wing, I actually thought it was pronounced... Shuffling, I was like, oh, that's weird how it's called a shuffling. <laughs> and then I looked at the word and I figured, that's probably shuffling, not shuffling. Right, okay, I've only got one for this one. I don't think you'll get it, it's quite hard. Go on. So, for the listeners, see if you can get this. The nickname is Copperhead. Bird or mammal? All minor birds. Oh, okay. Um... So, Copperhead. What nickname could Copperhead be for? Wren. Not far off from your little dunnock. Oh, tree sparrow. Yes. 
Good guess. That was okay. I'm impressed with that. Mm, thank you very much. Again, there's a few. Um, I think all of them will be quite obvious, but I'll pick the maybe least obvious one, which would be Todd. And I know you'll get that anyway. Todd. Mammal or... You've got to know Todd. Come Fox. on. Yeah. So I've got all birds, so that's like... I well, don't know. they're referred to as Charlie and Reynard as well. And Charlie is named after an estate owner in the 1700s who was an avid fox hunter. Foxes are quite commonly called Charlie in hunting circles. Todd is taken from the Middle English Northern dialect Todd, T-O-D-D-E, which means fox. And Reynard, well, Renard is French for fox. And Reynard Fox was from a popular series of fables about Reynard Fox. Okay, my next one is Black Oozle. Not Ring Oozle, is it? No, Black Oozle. Or in Scotland, Merle. Black Cap? I don't know. No. Black bird. Oh, okay. I got the black bit right. That was obvious. Well, black oozel, that's like ring oozel, and they look very similar to blackbirds. They do, but it's just spelled U-Z-Z-L-E. Oh, okay. I couldn't find anything for toads and frogs. Again, if you're listening and you know of any, let me know. This, again, is quite obvious, so I'll, I'll pick the one that's maybe least obvious to anyone listening, and that's urchin. So it's hedgehogs. But the other names are Hedge Pig and Furs Pig. Hedge Pig, I love that. I like Furs Pig. Okay, my next one is Black Headed Bob. Black Headed Bob. <laughs> oh, I feel like I saw this when I was looking for others, but it's not a black cap again, is it? It's not. I don't know. Great tip. Certainly that more makes sense. That. Black Headed Bob. <laughs> okay, Spadger. Like Badger, but with SP instead of a B. Badger? Mm-mm. Also referred to as Spuggy. Sparrow? Yeah. Spadger? I know. I've never that's heard crazy. that either. So you can say, that's a tree spadger, or that's a house spuggy, or house spadger, tree spuggy. That's how, that's how you do it. Yeah, but tree spuggies are copperheads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next one is feather poke. Feather poke. Or bottle tip. Well, feather poke. Let me break this down. So, birds have feathers. Scottish poke is a bag. So, feather bag. It's not a feather bag. <laughs> um, what's the second think one? Of it, think of it, right? So, it's feather poke. Yeah. Bottle tit. Blue you're tit? Get, think of it. So, you're getting the tit, but you're also getting feather poke. To me, it, it makes sense to me. It is a long tail tit. How does that make sense to you? Feather poke, because it's like a long feather. Because they have really long tails. It's like Pokemon with a long feather. In my mind, that worked. Okay, over to you. <laughs> so this isn't really a colloquial name, but it's just kind of interesting. I can't really do a quiz for this one, or a question. I'll just have to say it. So female hairs are called Jill, and male hairs are called Jack. It's like Jack and Jill. I love the hill. Mm, yeah. That's cute. There was a poem from the 13th century which gave 77 names to hares, but it wasn't an official thing. It was just some man's poem, and he decided to write how he saw hares. Some of them were just random, like Scotart, Big Fellow, Butchart, Woodcat, Grassbounder, and then a lot of them were just descriptions like Sitter Still, Earth Sitter, um, which obviously isn't an official nickname, but I found that sort of interesting. And it says they can also be referred to as bunnies as well, kind of like rabbits can. I feel a person in his poem, no offence to him in his poem, just put some words that may briefly describe a, a mammal that is on grass. On yeah, grass. like sitter still. Could be like sleeper. I think Baby a lot boy. of them... <laughs> so, so there was one and it was just... It's basically just what he does. And that's what they call him. Like you could just be called tablet holder or sofa sitter. Brooke could be finger biter and Brian could be bath batter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, my next one? Yep. Okay, so this one has... Oh, these are, these are cute. So one of them is Shell Apple. One of them is Copper Finch. And I've got one more to give if you don't think you get it from there. Well, is is it a type of finch? It does have finch in the name. So yeah, yes. but the other one wasn't... This one gives it away. The other one wasn't... Chaffy. Poke. Chaffinch. Yay! It's a nice easy one. That's cute. What's Shell it? Apple. That's really cute. 
Right, next one. This, again, isn't really quiz-worthy. It's just how the brown rat is referred to as the common rat, the street rat, and the sewer rat, which is kind of interesting because other descriptors are obviously negative things. I don't think they have any positive nicknames. No. So that was they... actually, it made me, it actually gave me an idea for another podcast just about every animal name and what they're used for. For example, greedy is a gannet, or calling someone a rat, calling someone a cow. Because every animal that I looked at when I was looking for their nickname, I could find some sort of insult to do with. It's weird how we use animals to insult people. We do use them to compliment as well, but it seems to mainly be insulting. Okay, my next one is Kush Hats. Kush Hats. Or Kushy Doom. Oh, oh, I already got this one because I wasn't sure if you'd get this when I was looking up Doric for some of them and it came up, so Kushy Doom's a pigeon. Oh. Feral pigeon. No, wood pigeon. Ah, the picture, the picture, is, no. She what, thought she got that. She when didn't. I looked it up, the picture was clearly of the feral pigeon when it said cushy do. But is that definitely just for wood pigeons? Cushy do's wood pigeon and mm. do or rock covers feral pigeon. That makes sense because I remember a few years ago when we were in the news for doing our pigeon patrol, they kept referring to them as do's and I'd never heard of that before. They're like the couple flocking to help Aberdeen's injured do's. I was like, what's yes. a do's? I've never, oh, never yeah. heard this before. Okay, so over to you again. Again, this isn't a nickname. I've failed tragically, but it was just something that was interesting. So with mice, the Romans didn't have a name for rats or mice. They just called them both moose, M-U-S. I'm assuming that's pronounced moose or mus, maybe. And if it was a rat, it would be called moose or mus maximus. And if it was... A mouse, it would be moose or mouse minimus. So it was basically just big mouse, small mouse. So a rat was a big mouse and a mouse was a small mouse. No, I like that. This is a really easy one. Um, I expect the listeners and you to get this one. It's asked me a lot. Redbreast. Robin. Yay! I couldn't find anything for buzzards, kestrels, crows, sparrowhawks or gannets. So if you're listening you know a nickname for any of them, please do let us know. So my next one is either stare or sheep stare. Stare. Is the bird known for staring? Not as far as I know. Is it a songbird? They're more mimics. Actually, they are a songbird. Oh, starling. Yes, and I like their mimicry. Ah, stare like starling. Is it pronounced, uh, sorry, is it spelled S-T-A-I-R or S-T-A-R-E? A-R-E. Yeah, stare. So it's almost like the short for a starling with a yeah. little E added on. I've got three for this one, trying to think which one's best. Okay, this is the Doric. Tammy Nori, or Tammy Nori. No idea. Clowns of the sea? Gannets? Sea parrots. Puffins! Yeah! Clowns of the... I should have got the Clowns of the Sea one. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, my one. I'll give you the first one, and then I'll give you the second one. If you don't get it from the first one. Okay. So the first one is woodcracker. I don't know what you're oh, thinking. Oh, um, woodpecker. Nope. What? So I didn't mean bullfinch. <laughs> <laughs> second one is nut jobber. Nut hatch. Yay! Nice. Nice. Okay. Pewl. P y w o l pewl. No idea. Gow? G-O-W? Maybe it's go, but gow? No idea. Scurry? A gull! Yeah, and the last one was seagull, because there's many species of gulls, which collectively seem to get called seagulls. Okay, my next one. College birds. College birds. (laughs) Chimney birds. College birds and chimney birds. Also Jackdaws? Yeah! Ah, college birds. Cador is another one. Hmm. I can't see Brooke going to college. Coney. C-O-N-E-Y. Coney. And this was an old word for them. I don't think it's... Yeah. How do you get that? This may sound weird, but in Lord of the Rings, they eat Coney for breakfast. Yes, it was mentioned when I looked it up. They mentioned the Lord of the Rings scene. It is still used by some people in the fur industry to refer to rabbit fur. And the word rabbit actually used to just be used to describe the young, but now it's used to describe the entire species. Oh, interesting. Ready for your next one? Yep. This one is known as Stumpy Toddy, Stumpy Toddy. or Sumpip. 
Sumpit. How do you spell sumpit? S U M P I T. Doesn't sound like a very loving term. What was the first one? Stumpy Toddy. Stumpy Toddy Sumpit. That's. One Whoever my... named it hated it. This is one of my favourite small birds. You like every bird. That's... Wren? Yes! <laughs> You're so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is so easy, I only found one, and you're definitely going to get it. Brock. Badger. Yeah. I thought you'd get that immediately. I was looking that up today at the exact same time as Brook bit my ear, and so I accidentally went Brock instead of Brook. But that was the only one I'd ever heard of before, and the only one I could find again. Okay, I'm going to do two. The first one I've partly mentioned previously. So this one is a rock dove or a do. Easy. Pearl pigeon. Yeah. Sorry, I just rocked up. Is that's not a nickname. That's just a name. Well, they're, they're saying there's another name they're known as rock. Yeah. Dove, it, that is true, I guess. Well, I've um, done that as well with the ring neck dove. And this one, I love this one. A devil's scritch. A devil's scritch. Almost like the devil has an itch and he's scritching it. Um, so who would scritch it for the devil? <laughs> some satanic bird. bird. Um, <laughs> magpie. On the right line. Crow? Raven? They're a corvid. Part of the corvid family. Jay. J. Yes. A devil's, devil's scritch. <laughs> Doric Ulet. Nope. Just think Ulet. It kind of sounds like it. The first bit. I don't know. Think of it. What, Ulet is like the, what the baby one would be called. Oh, an owl. Yeah. An owl there. Does, is that just general for owl instead of like yeah? Owl well, it says it says here Doric for owl is Ulit. Nice. Okay, this one I think you might get. It's either a green Lena or a greeny. How do you spell the Lena bit? L e n n a r t. Green Lena. Not a linnet. No. Or a green finch. Green finch. Green finch. Green bit makes sense. Doric again. Scrath. No idea. Cormorant. Oh, I've never got that. That's a really cool one. I like that. The last one. I've only got one more and it's pretty good, but I'll save that for the end. Well, I've got five more to go. Well, do you want to just do all five and then I'll do mine at the end? Okay. So for this bird here, okay, listeners, and Flo, and the jackals, cornet, ring necks, long spurs, or long tails. And this is just And it's not a long tail tit. This is not a long tail tit. Say them again, please. Cornet, ring necks, long spurs, or long tails. Ring neck. Do they have a ring around their neck? And yes. it's not a collar dove. It's not a collar dove. I've forgotten every other bird with a ring around its neck now. Cornet. So it's got a ring neck, which, you know, got a ring around the neck. Long tails. What other bird has really long tails? Wagtail. Longer. Longer. Pheasant. Yes. Mm. Okay, next one. Meg or Chatterpie? Well, Meg must be Megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like the movie, right? Chatterpie, that's really cute. Sounds like a Pokemon. Combine the two, Megpie. Magpie. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, next one. Whitwall. Oh, oh, a warbler of some sort. Or, or why does that... I feel like Whitwall. Wit Oh, not like a tw- an owl, like wit No, not like an owl, wit <laughs> Come on, listeners, can you get this? Wit wool? Flo previously wool said wool. the woodcracker sound. Did she thought the woodcracker was Woodpecker. Yes. Is that, was it wit wool or wit wool? Wit wool. And that's a great spotted woodpecker as well, just to be precise. Great spotted wit wool. Okay, next one. A petch. P E T C H. Indeed. This makes no sense. Peacock. I don't know. No. A black-headed gull. That's random. And my last one. So, this is a good one. An Abba Divine. Sounds like something Aberdonian. It does sound Scottish, I think. An Abba Divine. Is it seabird? No. Um, I have no idea. Okay. It's a siskin. Yeah. Abba Divine. I love that name. It's so random, but cool. Okay, so 
Flo, what is this grand finale bird you have for us? I don't know if I've bigged it up that much, have I? I just think it's funny. Go on. A foggy bummer. <laughs> okay, that's good. A foggy bummer. Okay. Believe it or not, the clue's in the name. Foggy bummer. <laughs> I just have no idea. Go through every syllable, find the part that is in the animal's name. Okay, yeah, still not going to get it. Bumblebee. Foggy bummer. How the hell am I going to get that? Why would you call a bumblebee a foggy bummer? <laughs> Listeners, foggy bummer. What a weird name. There's actually um, a project called the Foggy Bummer. It's Doric again, by the way. Foggy okay. bummer. Flo, out of all these today, what are your two favourite nicknames that we've, we've covered? I quite like Stumpy Toddy and Sumpit. It's just such a non-cute name. It just sounds so... I don't know. What? My favourites both come off my list, and the two I'm going to go for is a Devil Scritch, and of course the Sky Dancer. Aww. What about you? What are your two favourites? Well, Stumpy Toddy, Sumpit, and I like Chimney Birds and College Birds. Cushy Doo's pretty good as well. Um... Cushy Doo really does describe Wood Pigeon though. Because they're, they're big and... They're like, imagine like a big cushion. A cushion dove. Cushion dove. <laughs> I like that. Really, really big and fluffy. Cushy do. So if you see a wood pigeon and you're out with your friends, go look at that cushion dove. That big cushy do. Yeah, impress your friends with your wildlife nickname knowledge. Oh yes, I do like the sound of the shell apple in the morning. The singing of the nut jobber. The sheep stare. The red breast. What a good old chatter pie. And they do chatter. It's it's really, the name's really accurate descriptions. That is a very, yeah. Magpies chatter a lot to each other. Yeah. Do you have any animal nicknames that we haven't mentioned today? It wasn't an exhaustive list, obviously, but we hope that gave a good idea of some funny and obscure animal nicknames that we have in the English language. Remember to check out our social media pages, our Spotify and YouTube, subscribe, to those channels so you don't miss any of our future episodes and also it gives you a chance to if you haven't listened to some of the previous episodes that we've done because this is episode 14 now and uh, they're flying past yep <laughs> yep yep <laughs> yep 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 people yeah. yep 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 uh, yep and check out our Facebook page our Instagram where we'll post all about what we're doing and what we've got coming up. Thanks for listening. Bye. Tweet, tweet, tweet. That was fun. <laughs>